Okay, so in this video, we are going to see some complex examples of sort values. Let's first look at an example of one column, how we can sort values. Let's just choose a column of hours per week here. Um, and let's just execute the statement. So it's expected that the column will be sorted in the ascending order and accordingly the rows corresponding to that uh, will also be present. If we just press the shift plus tab, uh, we can see the ascending is by default set to true. Um, if we just put the ascending as false, um, the rows will be sorted in the descending order. So that's the expected output. As you can see, that's the case uh, in our output here. Now let's see how the sorting behavior actually works if we have multiple columns. So in that case, we are going to pass the list. So let's take the first column as the hours per week and take the next column as the marital status. And we are going to enclose that in the square brackets uh, because we have to pass a list. As you can see, it will give us an error if we don't pass it in the square brackets. So by default, the both columns are sorted in the ascending order as ascending is true by default. However, we can change the behavior by passing a list in the ascending argument. So as you can see, for the first one, we have set it as false. For the second column, it, we have set it as true. So if we just look at the top 10 rows, so that's how uh, it's going to behave. So what happens in this case is initially, uh, the rows are sorted in the ascending order for the hours per week and then they are sorted in the non-ascending order for the marital status. So say for an example of value of 99 under the hours per week, the corresponding values of marital status are arranged in the non-ascending order for that kind of rows where we have hours per week as 99. Okay, now let's try changing the values in the ascending argument. So let's set it as the second value as false as well. So in this case, both our columns will be sorted in the non-ascending order. We can further set the first value as the true and the second as the false. So in this case, initially hours per week will be sorted in the ascending order and the marital status will be sorted in the non-ascending order. So in conclusion, we have seen the sorting behavior on one single column and on multiple columns as well. Thank you.